Hello, everybody. I'm Henry. I'm now at uh, my studio, Blue Heron Arts, to prepare a New Year's video for 2019. Um, let me start my camera. My camera is not working, forgive me. Recording, stand by. Um, Anyway, I think uh, it's a recording. <coughs> so the next year, 2019, is the, um, the pig year, the year of the pig. So it's time to prepare how to paint pig or hawk. Um, <coughs> Okay, yeah, someone commented on YouTube, you might have never painted a pig before, but believe it or not, um, I'm a pig. <laughs> I'm a pig person. I was born uh, 60 years ago, almost, um, in the same zodiac uh, cycle, um, the 60-year circle is that uh, this will be my in Chinese, Ben Mingian, the year, the birth year, the 60 year cycle is the biggest celebration in Chinese uh, zodiac because we can never expect to live 120 years old, right? So when, when you complete a circle, um, it's six, it takes 60 years. So uh, the 12 years ago, I did this painting on Ding Hai. The next year will be Ji Hai. Hai is the symbol of the pig. This year, the current year, we haven't uh, uh, passed yet, is the year of the duck. It's the uh, Wu Xu, right? Um, so this is the big year for me. Um, I have to do something, right? Uh, actually, I prepared this for a long time. Since uh, 12 years ago, I, I did uh, this these paintings. Uh, this one is framed. Um, it was done on um, on the uh, Japanese rice paper. I'll do uh, a demo later for, uh, to show you how to uh, mount it. Uh, this one says the Chinese uh, title says "Zhu uh, Shi Ru Yi," literally um, pick. <laughs> things as we, as you wish, but the Zhu or pig sounds the same as uh, every, uh, every uh, or pig thing, it sounds the same. So we, we borrow that, uh, we just play with the words, uh, the sound of the word. So Zhu Shi Ru Yi means uh, everything goes your way or everything um, auspicious, uh, uh, good luck. Um, Ru means uh, as you wish. Okay, this is this is um, my last year of birth. Uh, Twelve years ago, I did, and um, I think uh, when was that? Maybe two thousand six or seven. I forgot. Anyway, um, six. I think I did also some other studies. Then uh, this one is just the same. Uh, 12 years ago, it's a uh, it's kind of jade uh, or a stone carving um, sculpture. I, I I got inspired. Um, I was an archaeologist, and so I'm familiar with this kind of uh, 
uh, ancient uh, cultural re relics. This is uh, inspired by that. And this one you may have uh, um, seen, you know, it, we call it pigning, right? The, the, you put the coins. So pig is the symbol of um, wealth. In the past, the farmers or the peasants' family um, can only raise a few pigs for, for, for the year. And then in the year, uh, the new year, they will uh, be uh, consumed. So this is a, like you accumulate, um, you, you fit the, fit the pig for, for a long time and then uh, you'll you become um, wealthy. Um, so that, this has become the symbol, Zhao Chai Jin Bao. This is the, um, the symbol says. It, it is a combination of uh, uh, four Chinese characters. It reads um, from left to right, Zhao Chai. Zhao Chai means uh, welcome or um, uh, gathering. Chai means treasure or wealth. Um, so Jin Bao means saying um, collect uh, treasures. Collected wealth. So this is the um, picnic. Uh, it, it's a uh, pottery or porcelain. Actually, I think my daughter Amy did this uh, pick. I wrote this uh, stamp on, on it. Very cute, isn't it? So. Today, um, I will start with a mounting project. And uh, <clears throat> this is my, you might call it a, a study or practice uh, just for this uh, coming lesson. Um, you know, the time has uh, changed so much, technology world has changed so much. Uh, I used to record the lesson and uh, it takes hours to record, then takes weeks to edit. So the process is very, uh, very uh, time consuming and very uh, long. So this year I may do it uh, differently. Uh, what I'm thinking is I will set an event, a uh, live event. Uh, I'm thinking on the uh, December 1st, uh, maybe, Eight o'clock my time, you know, uh, uh, West or Pacific time. So you can get online to watch, watch me uh, doing this video. Um, so I will show you how to paint pics. How's that? So at the meantime, I will I will record um, this uh, live lesson and make it into a DVD or. Uh, recorded the lesson for future use. So it will be um, very different, very interactive. So you can participate, you can ask questions, and uh, uh, also paint along with me live. And so you can, you can uh, I hope you can show me your, your painting, maybe on Facebook or somewhere. And on YouTube, you cannot upload pictures. Uh, anyway, if you sign up to my class at uh, ChineseBrushPainting.com, yeah, you can uh, also um, watch me painting online live. In the meantime, uh, you can submit your paintings for critique and comments. Thank you for for the greeting, the first first year greeting. Uh, it's still quite a um, long time away, but uh, I can't wait. Thank you. <coughs> Um, so 60 is the uh, first year is the pick. That's the um, subject matter of my lesson, uh, my next lesson. Um, this painting was done this morning. Uh, I used the watercolor, the Western watercolor. Uh, I used Hobin, Hobin or the, the, the Japanese brand and uh, some ink, um, so on, on rice paper. The rice paper is very thin. Um, it become 
ring coat. Right? When, when, after you wash it, 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 it's terrible. You cannot frame it like that, right? This this painting uh, is framed. We're supposed to have, make it perfectly flat, right? Um, so this this is what you you need to do. You you mount it. Um, you see, this is a, another thing. Nothing is permanent. This painting is twelve years old, and the, look, the the painting turns brown already. Like look like antique. Um, so this is a wet mounted with a we paste. We we can use a, a silicone paper for dry mounting today. Um, the advantage of this is that uh, you can you can avoid the the risk of uh, smearing because the the watercolor will smear when you get wet. You wet it, right? Everybody knows that. So let me prepare this. How we speak? I just cut it like that. I have a cutting board and I use it. <laughs> this paper comes with a, a heat sensitive film called silicone. It's made of uh, silicone. And you will release um, after, after, uh, okay, let me, let me say this. Uh, you can mount the painting directly on, on this. Silicone paper, so I call it silicone paper. But the paper that comes with the silicone film um, is not uh, the permanent support. So I would rather use something else. Uh, but for for um, for some some occasion, you know, you, it, it might be just okay. So I uh, I do keep them. And it, you know, if, especially small painting, I don't, I don't need to take it off. If, uh, but, but professionally, I think you need to use uh, something like uh, Bristol paper or uh, their archival, I believe, and uh, uh, watercolor paper can also be used. So any anything more more supportive, thicker. So I would prepare this backing with a silicone film on top, it's kind of like laminate it. And then I'll put a painting on it, okay? Let me get my frame. So this is a very easy procedure. Um, if you paint with a rice paper, you have to learn how to do this. So I set the iron to um, somewhere between wool and the silk in the middle. It's 180 Fahrenheit. Okay, so I just iron this. You can see the iron is not clean, but that's okay. You are not going to Touch the painting. You can you can clean the iron with the paper towel before you make sure there's no steam in those hole, holes. Okay. And uh, the next, I will prepare the painting. <clears throat> Let me get some water here. Okay, um, let me do this. I will put a felt and uh, spray some water. This will relax the painting, but not too wet because of the this watercolor may get uh, smeared if you wet it. So just some uh, mist. And then um, you can, I'll just 
maybe okay i can just eye on this side i think uh, but make sure it's uh, protected so i don't want to use the iron directly what i do is i peel off this uh, release paper that i just used um, on the backing now it's uh, my protecting paper so cover the, the painting and just kind of flatten it a little bit you don't have to make it completely dry just just uh, A little bit. See, this is a tricky part. If you you cannot make it flat, basically with just with water, but with backing you can. So there's some some minor minor uh, wrinkles still, but you don't have to worry. Just keep some moisture. If not enough, um, you can spray a little more. I think. If you if your painting is perfect uh, flat, you don't have to iron this. Um, the point is, you you should leave some point moisture in the in the painting, just like a, you would with the ironing a shirt. Okay, and just take this off. Um, I better cover this. See, this is the the the. Uh, Tip. You don't have you, you you have to keep this area the table completely dry because any any moisture on the table or on the mat would uh, evaporate when it gets heat and then pass onto the paper the backing paper and create waves or even wrinkles. So this is what uh, you need to worry. Just uh, clean the table and put uh, some clothing on, four layers of clothing. I use denim. Um, this paper is a little too big, but uh, it might be okay. You can cut the silicone exactly the same size. Since I use a non-anti-stick paper as protecting piece, that's you know, the, what, what it comes with the silicone. So it will not stick on. It will not stick on it. Otherwise, it might stick on your iron and stick on the on, the, on this uh, covering piece. So this is uh, what I do. I cover the painting with this uh, silicone release paper, and then just iron again, very very gently. To start, but quickly cover as much as possible the whole air, whole uh, painting. So if it's a large painting, it's a challenge. I um, I would say you know you do um, wet mounting if it's go beyond twenty seven inches. Okay. The release paper will not stick on the extra um, because it's a waxy here. It will not stick on the extra uh, fil film, silicone. Otherwise, if you use something else, it might. So this is the advantage of using this procedure. I call it uh, method uh, B. Okay, just keep iron until it's completely dry because uh, I got moisture in the painting to, to help flatten it. I see some minor wrinkles goes this way, so I iron more like this. Just pull it sideways. And just make sure it's all dry. Nice and easy. Okay. <clears throat> That's uh, the finished painting. Let me let me show you the details. Um, this is a uh, a countryside of a farm scene. 
in the in the autumn, the the um, they have this uh, corns uh, spread to be dry sun dried on the ground on on a mat on the bamboo mat. This is the, the edge of the bamboo mat on the side, and the four or uh, five pygmies. Okay, another Chinese taboo. If you paint something for someone as a gift, never paint four. Number four is a taboo in Chinese, especially uh, you know when you do as a gift because. Uh, it sounds like uh, or die to die. So one, two, three, four. Here is another five. So five is uh, is okay. Um, and besides, four um, will be difficult to com compose. So five, you can have one and four uh, for is easy grouping. Um, the Inscription says the same. Everything as you wish. Um, good luck. Um, and uh, it says, my birth year is coming, and my signature, Xiao Hui Li. So this is the the, the painting uh, we're going to learn um, on December first. I will show you how to do this and the other styles like this. Which one, which style you like better? More cartoony or um, or uh, more shei or gongbi? You know, more detailed, more more. Um, this is a. Uh, um, I think uh, the spontaneous style that. But uh, it's similar to this one I did. I framed my my uh, one of my favorite uh, pick. And but I have this face a little um, like a smiley. Okay, maybe I should uh, let you know what material we're going to use, right? Um, I will use uh, soft and stiff, uh, maybe different uh, different uh, sizes. You just get the, the three basics from Blue Heron Arts. Uh, <clears throat> let me move this so I can show you. So for, for this style, I'll use uh, if you choose one brush, you can use a combination brush, the stiff and the soft. This is a soft one, the basic soft in the basic three. Um, and of course, ink, you can use grinding ink or ink uh, uh, bottled ink. You can also use some watercolor, but you know, Chinese watercolor is the best. But with dry mounting, uh, as you have just seen, there's no uh, worry about uh, smearing, and you you, it, you know it, it, you can use the water regular watercolor. I got just the regular watercolor here. Um, it's just whatever you got. The color is uh, um, always secondary. Ink, uh, the tonality, makes the painting. So it's the, the essence of Chinese painting. The color is uh, uh, always supportive. Okay, you like the fire pick. Let me show you one <laughs> just to, before I end the lesson. So you can start. You can start. You can start to learn uh, how to do this, right? This is a oh the paper you can use a Japanese rice paper. It's nine uh, by thirteen and a half. You can get from our website. Um, it's very less expensive, very good for practice. 
This is the off-white one. You can see the white patch. Uh, it makes a little warm color. You can uh, just use white. Someone may, may ask, can I use uh, um, regular regular watercolor paper? Yes, you can. This is a uh, carset paper I've, I've been using for my watercolor. Uh, I can show you how you know different it is. Let's just do a pick on um, regular watercolor. Okay, can you see my palette? <clears throat> okay, I I just got some uh, light light pink, some uh, milky pink. Okay, and. Uh, you always load every color you need in one stroke in Chinese painting. Even on, um, on the uh, watercolor paper, I try to do this. And it's hard to keep the color not to bleed into each other on, on watercolor than on rice paper. On rice paper, you cannot record every stroke um, as it's still, you know, as just the way you, you, you did it. So this is more. Uh, of a challenge to have one side like a, um, darker than the other, it's kind of hard. Okay, this is the nose, and you can you can um, you can just uh, get a uh, some, get rid of some with a paper towel and uh, uh, load some uh, blue or purple. And some yellow, maybe. Just get some grays. Maybe a little, little ultra. It's looking like more like ink. And just paint the head like a little half circle. And then uh, just use the, the rest for the, the big ears, one bigger, one smaller, right? And then um, you, if, you, if the color looks okay, you can just continue with that. Um, let me just take a chance. I don't know what's in it. So one stroke painting is the idea. Do a big oval. Big belly, like that. No, no uh, repeat. That's the just a little bit. Maybe make up. If you repeat, try to make it like uh, you know. In watercolor, as uh, in uh, Chinese brush painting, the more you try to correct something, either uh, the structure, the stroke, uh, the perspective you make it worse, just like uh, dating, you know. You, you have to respond and just uh, um, don't try, you know, the work to, to try hard, too hard, okay? <clears throat> and then I would just, uh, you can mix some red, azari, crimson, um, and uh, ultramarine and, some black maybe to make a make it a black to dot and then just do a little tail <laughs> and then we dot the no nose and you can make a little lip i think Yeah, that let's try to. I think that change just like that, and I can write the Chinese, um, Chinese. Uh, we call this uh, auspicious, uh, uh, auspicious uh, greeting or wish. You can always see this on the lucky K 
cat, you know, the, the cat, like nodding in, in some Japanese stores, they also have this, uh, we use pig, especially the year for the pig, right? We just write that. I took got lots of red to write this, I think. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. First is uh, Chao. But this shear something. Uh, this this part, this radical is shared by two characters. Okay. <clears throat> also, if you read the left side, this is the treasure radical. Then this is the um, the verb zhao tai, so they share the middle part. Qi. This is the difficult stroke for most uh, students. That's a long one. Okay, this part then is shared by the top. This the character, the fourth character, ball. And uh, I think you, in in correct way, maybe you should write the roof first. But I write the way it reads, so you can understand. This is a, the whole design becomes a sign, you know, not a regular calligraphy arrangement. <clears throat> so, dot on top. Zhao Tai Jin Bao. There's like a picnic, right? Good luck. Um, for the year of 2019. Let me just write my my name again. This time just I think I should sign the next year, maybe for next year or something like that. Wish for, wish everybody um, good luck. This painting, you don't have to, um, you don't, because I did on, on um, Carson paper, so you don't have to, you don't have to mount it. As you see, there's no um, no subtle tone like a, like a, the rice paper. So which one you, you like to use, it's up to you. I cannot create the same effect on this. So my answer to the question, what whether you can use watercolor paper to paint, yes, you can, but you can, you can see it's, it's not the same. Um, Maybe you can wet the paint, the paper, and then uh, do it uh, wetting wet into wet. But it's still, you know, not uh, exactly the, the hard edge. It's uh, maybe a little too stiff. Um, but we'll, 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 we can also get hard edges on rice paper. But the soft part is uh, very different, I think, especially with the wash. Okay, let me uh, show you if I do the same thing. Here. Okay, let me just got some ink. We just do it in ink first. Let's do it this way. The 
everything is uh, you cannot um, make any any change. You can just add to it. You cannot erase. But uh, the good thing with watercolor uh, with the rice paper is that there's a water mark. You cannot really uh, combine two strokes. It it always separate um, with a water mark. So let's say one stroke, right? And if you if you go back, um, sometimes you know the two good water, especially the good uh, watercolor paper. I mean, good uh, rice paper will have this uh, characteristic that you know um, prevent the two stroke become one. Um, Prevent the two stroke become one. So it's it's a uh, pro or con. You know, it depends on how you like how good your calligraphy stroke is. If you like, if you have a good calligraphy stroke, you want to have the stroke to be recorded very uh, precisely. You know, but if you try to correct something, it's hard. It's not not forgiving. Okay. It's very important to um, foreseeing the complete painting or the, the final painting in your mind, even you know every stroke before you touch the paper, because this paper is very um, absorbent. It doesn't allow you to paint slowly. So you have to kind of imagine the movement of this, the stroke, kind of plan it in, in advance to so know no um, repeat. The watercolor turns to separate from the ink. Sumi ink. Um, but if you use Chinese watercolor, they may, uh, because of the di different uh, binding it, um, it was used. So, but if you use uh, Marie's or other brand Chinese watercolor, it will blend with ink better. But you know, so what? Sometimes you, you like the, the color to bleed more than the ink. That's, that's the, you know, the, the, Interesting, the magic of um, water watercolor on on uh, rice paper. Okay, let's say if I use uh, uh, just use watercolor. I got some gray here. Instead of adding water to the ink, I use. Because the gray water in watercolor is a Davis gray, I think. You you get more body. You, you when you dilute the ink, you get add too much water. It will smear more, but use the gray. Watercolor may help. So let's let's see. You can do the pick kissing each other or. Maybe just a uh, parallel. Let's take a reference. It's a nice gray, right? like an elephant gray. It's nice, I like that. Just add a little water to complete that bottom and you can add a little more gray, a little more dark. It's a little elephant. <laughs> Very 
decisive We can, we can fill in the blank with uh, writing, or you can paint more pics. Okay, let's write the greeting I just uh, used here. Oh, here. <clears throat> so any water-based ink, watercolor or acrylic ink can be used on rice paper. Specific style. It says, my birth year is coming. And then uh, my name, I'll put a trap there later. So you can write either way. I think uh, in this case, I can write this way. I mean, this side, I can write that way. It's all possible. Um, any questions? Let me just add spine here. And just give a little variation to the tones. This we call it brick, brick ink or The more you try, <laughs> the worse it becomes. That's the advice. Okay, I will see you um, pretty soon, right? Uh, two, two weeks or three weeks. We are about twenty days away to December, right? After um, after Thanksgiving. The, the Saturday, after, uh, Saturday after the Black Friday, okay? Um, we'll have some fun together and, you know, make sure you have uh, something on, on your table in front of your desktop or you can use phone to watch this on YouTube and maybe on Facebook as well. And we'll do it together to celebrate the year of the uh, pig. Which brush do I use? Uh, I use the uh, soft hair brush, uh, the, the white goat hair brush, the soft one, because I need a lot of moisture, moisture to, uh, to do this. So I use, uh, you can use uh, the combination brush, but don't use the stiff brush. So it's the, the white one, let's, let's clean it, you can see. It's, it's a white. Any questions before we end this uh, announcement and the preview of my New Year's class? Oh, I do have um, a, a gift for you. If you order um, supplies from Blue Heron Arts, you can use the code YouTuber. 
Let me write it. <clears throat> okay, use write this code YouTuber. With R, capital Y, capital Y, and capital T. You will get 10% of um, your order of uh, 25, uh, 35 maybe, or more, okay? This is your a reward for watching my channel and subscribe to my channel so you get announcement when I'm going live. And I also have a live event. Make sure you um, reserve your date, okay, on December 1st. See you then. Any questions? Uh, Jim has a question whether I mix I mix uh, watercolor and ink. Yes, I did. I just did minutes ago with this painting. Uh, it was a. Uh, Watercolor, I use a uh, Hoban, Hoban, how do you say it? Um, it's not much left, there's a, some more here. So I do use watercolor and uh, when you mix with ink, this is what happens. You can see there's, the ink tends to stay in place while the watercolor rains away. So it's not very good integration, but uh, it's okay if you want this kind of uh, uh, effect. Should I run up this and pick heat a little bit? Maybe. So, so the answer is yes, you, you can, uh, but uh, just be aware of that kind of. Uh, um, different uh, they don't they don't really mix together they tend to separate on the rice paper because the the running speed is different um but it, you know it has a special aura maybe that you you like so you can see the pink kind of form a little um a little ray can a, a highlight maybe around the, the stroke um, I kind of like it. So if you like it, you, you can. Um, I think the main reason we don't use watercolor is the wet mounting risk. I know the, um, maybe you know, some, uh, some show restrict mounting method to wet mounting only, but I don't see any reason for reject a nice, um, Dry mounting, so <laughs> that's uh, um, that's their choice. I think the, you know dry mounting uh, is as good as wet mounting, and the main advantage is that you don't have to worry about it. the watercolor gets uh, uh, smeared when uh, wet mount. Yeah, rice paper is better than. Um, the watercolor paper, right? The watercolor paper, uh, you know, it, it's nice. It's nice to show colors more vibrant, but uh, as, when it comes to line, an email painting, you know, like a calligraphy, uh, you can see the um, the movement, the dance of the brush more. I think um, watercolor, if you use dry brush, it tends to be, um, I don't know, if it's light, it's okay, but when you have 
dry brush stroke on um, watercolor paper sometimes turns muddy, maybe. Um, but it's nice to have muddy color on on rice paper. <laughs> There's no, no such concept called muddy because uh, any muddy color on rice paper looks looks very magical. You know, I I I mixed all the. This one is also it's all this one done all in watercolor. Only the, the signature is uh, ink, I think. So this is a mix of uh, Western watercolor and the Chinese ink. My ink is dried up, so it's overnight ink. Maybe fresh ink will mingle together with the color better. Um, I think yes. Um, so you can you can experiment with fresh ink. Maybe you would uh, mix better. Okay, thanks, Jim. I hope you, you uh, try it. And uh, if not, uh, more questions, I will uh, end this uh, announcement. And uh, again, we'll get together again, if not earlier, on December 1st to paint uh, Chinese pig, Ch paint pigs for the Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year actually comes after the uh, January, but uh, we should, as an artist, we should learn how to do it. It takes time to practice, right? To prepare. So I'll teach you uh, one more month before the, the calendar year. Okay. See you, everybody. Goodbye. Have a nice day.